I'm sorry, I'm all looking in the camera and I shouldn't be looking in the camera. <laughs> oh no, Yo. I didn't do the challenge. Well, I mean, it's a story that I think everyone can relate to, all ages, you know? And it spans different generations, yeah, you know. Absolutely. It's inspired by some classics. It's just a fun watch. Everyone likes to watch something funny. Yeah, yeah. you can laugh. And it's like a lot of funny moments there that a lot of people can relate to. So the last movie I watched at home was It, and it was by accident because uh, I hate scary movies. Um, but it was it was great. I'm glad I watched at home in the daytime and the comfort. In the daytime, of my mm, yeah. Home. I think it was Crazy Rich Asians. The one I saw like fully, cause you know when you're in your house you can just roll around in the kitchen, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. go to the bathroom for a little bit, you know? But I think the last one I watched mm. fully was Crazy Rich Asians, it was fire. I just saw Bird Box and I really loved Bird Box. <laughs> <laughs> I was so into it. I was like, oh, I had heard about it, but I wasn't, I couldn't, I didn't have time to watch it. And then finally I was like, oh, I gotta see Bird Box. Everybody's been talking about this. and um. Gotta say, it was really, good. it was really good. Yeah. I love teen movies, so anytime that Clueless or Cruel Intentions or movies like She's All That are on, or I love like Coming to America a lot. They're those Boomerang. kind of movies that Boomerang mm -hmm. um, that you can just watch over and over again. Well, probably Black Panther and all the Mar Marvel movies, mm -hmm. but definitely Black Panther. And I'm not saying that because I'm black. It's just, it's mm -hmm. a great film. Right. So yeah. I like old, like, romantic comedy, so I will watch, like, When Harry Met Sally, Sleepless in Seattle, I guess I love Nora Ephron too, uh, Heartburn, but my favorite probably is Overboard. I think I've seen Overboard, like, 35 times because it's so crazy. I love, I love Goldie Hawn, too. She's pretty great. I need a blanket because I like to be cozy. Oh, yeah. I mean, snacks are essential. Food. I love to order food. I love yeah, to order meals. in. Yeah. My snacks are meals. Yeah, <laughs> I, I was about to say food. food. <laughs> oh, yeah, just food. Literally, I love dinner and a movie. Yeah. At oh, home yeah. It's the best thing ever. If I right order there. some like, Jamaican food or. Oh, You know, that's just, I'm, I'm, I'm in. Mm. Oh, my God. That sounds so exciting. <laughs> <laughs> like, like some good food. Oh, <laughs> like a blanket and a blanket. I mean, that yeah. is. That is. Yeah. And my phone because you I gotta need have your to. Phone. I need to, like, Sometimes when I'm watching a movie, I like to see what other people think about it yeah. in the past. So I'll be on like you know a website looking at. I just don't want to have to get up. So I just oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. like to like, put the phone here so mm -hmm. I don't have to. Get yeah, to basically the same thing that they said. Just my three like snacks, blankets, uh, my phone, of mm -hmm. course, because I like I like to look at the cast and what they have done. You yeah, know? that too. So. When you're like, who, what, what were they? In? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. you gotta check that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love a good gag reel. You know what I think about the most is the About Last Night gag reel was like one I of the best ones. I never saw it. It's so <laughs> funny. At the end of the movie, you and Kevin going back and forth is one of the ones I think about a lot as like a really effective gag reel. <laughs> and director's commentary. Yeah, mm -hmm. I do like director's commentary too. That's dope too. I like to see that in animation too, like what they've thought about it and like the editing process of it. I like animation, like cartoons. 